Good day, friends. This is chapter 5 of Hebrews. Thank you for coming to the Nameless Preacher to hear the Word of God. As I try to do it in nature, it's so peaceful and calm. Chapter 5 of Hebrews. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity, and by reason hereof he ought as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. And no man taketh his, this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Thank you again, friends. That was Hebrews chapter 5. We will end there and we will be back with more in this peaceful place. I hope you enjoy the view. Thank you for coming. And remember that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In the previous chapter we just read, we also heard that faith must be mixed in with hearing the word of God. Thank you for being here. Amen.